Hi guys, it's me Silvana again from the Natural Social Science Lab at Miami Dade College Candle Campus. In the previous videos, uh, I showed you how to solve for x and how to solve for p. I'm going to show you how to solve for y in this video using the same example. Okay, so we want to solve for y. How do we solve for y? It has a squared here, but don't worry about that. I'm going to show you how to get rid of the, the square. So first, since it's dividing on this side, that means we have to multiply by y squared on both sides. That way we can cancel it from here. Now we have it over here. Let me rewrite this. y squared times x over 2p equals 4w. So here we have x and 2p. How do we get rid of the 2p so that we can have the y squared by itself? So that means we multiply by 2p on both sides. That way we can cancel it from here. And now we have y squared times x equals 4w times 2p. But we still don't have y by itself. So how do we get rid of the x? Since it's multiplying, we have to divide by x on both sides. That way we cancel it from here. Rewriting this, we have y squared equals 4w times 2p over x. Okay, so now I'm going to continue over here. y squared equals 4w times 2p over x. And again, remember, we're trying to have y by itself. So how do we get rid of the square? We have to take the square root of this. And again, we have to do it on both sides. That way we can cancel the 2. And now we have y equals the square root of 4w times 2p over x. But this is not the final answer yet. What do we do now? We simplify it. So we multiply these two numbers. And now we get y equals square root 4 times 2. 8wp over x. This is the final answer. Thank you for watching.